You want a good movie for Halloween? Well, ever since I saw The Birthday with Corey Feldman, I've been in kind of a Corey Feldman kick. And I've always been a fan, so re-watching his stuff is easy because I already have it. In 1985, uh, he made a movie here in the U.S. It was straight to video. I believe it was Apex, who aren't exactly back then were not known for the uh, amazing horror movies they put out, in my opinion. Well, he made a movie called Voodoo. Voodoo is an awesome movie. See, what people don't realize is there's 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 stages of Corey Feldman. There's the stage that a lot of people my age we know him because you know you had the Goonies, the Gremlins. I'm, I'm I really don't know which one came first. I I like Gremlins better to be honest with you. Um, and the Lost Boys. See, so everybody's like, well, this guy was he was a child actor. He didn't go on to anything. Well, that's not true. Goonies gremlins i mean all the commercials he did law i'm you know those are his child movies now as he becomes not quite a teenager yet we have the lost boys huge hit i'm naming big big hit big budget movies and then we have license to drive we have dream a little dream and then we have the burbs now he has transcended child actor teenage actor now he's actor and a lot of times, and everybody's like, well, he, he didn't continue acting. Well, he did. A lot of films at the time were straight to video movies. But let's keep in mind, these are still movies. Rock and Roll High School Forever. Voodoo, the one I'm going to talk about. Meatballs 4. Busted. Uh, uh, what's that other one where he's looking for a car with the dude from Gremlins? I forget the name. Edge of Honor, which is an amazing movie that anybody should check out. All these really good movies. And here's what I believe happened. You know, he's making all these straight to video movies and there's, you're getting paid. There's, there's a lot of people that started out as child actors that are uh, changing tires or working at fucking Sears Roblox. He kept acting. But then he made the, the one that really brought me back into really liking movies again was the birthday. And that didn't get a theatrical release. It didn't, you know, so he was at that time, I think I can't speak for him, you know, fuck this. I'm going to concentrate on music and all that. I would have personally, cause he had, there was still a lot of things I think holding back the release of the birthday, which I won't get into here. Watch the birthday review for that. But I'm here to talk about voodoo voodoo. Before I continue any further, let's just take a look and let's watch the trailer. Voodoo. Find me another. New, huh? Yeah, I just got here. Good luck. Andy Chadway, the gentleman and scholars of Omega Zeta Mu. We need a new pledge, and you need a place to live. That's true. What do you think of joining us? I think it'd be great. You're in? Get away from them now. He'll kill you if you stay. The Omegas look and act alive. <laughs> but they're not. What kind of guys you think we are? Marsh performed a ritual on you last night, an ancient form of voodoo. Now that you've been chosen, Marsh will turn you into one of the undead and use his power to control you. You're dead. We gotta get out of here. What's wrong? Marsh, Marsh and, and the Omegas are not a fraternity. They're, they're some kind of weird voodoo cult. Retribution is inevitable. You're the last chosen to be sacrificed. Look at this. Well, Gage. You're in danger. In a few hours, you'll be dead. Voodoo. Corey Feldman. Sarah Douglas. Jack Nance. You don't know what you're up against. Voodoo. This is really good. This is, it's different. So Feldman plays Andy. And Andy goes to this unnamed university. He's, a, he's studying to be a writer. And, you know, he travels to university. And he's going to have something to write about. So he goes and his girlfriend's there. And he's like, you know, surprise, I'm here. And, you know, she's kind of like, kind of happy to see him. Kind of not, I think, more so surprised, taken aback. And he was like, well, I don't even know where to live. 
And she was like, well, I'm in a sorority. You can't live with me. They could have done the old bosom buddies thing and he could have dressed like a woman. And But that would have been a different movie. So she's like, well, why don't you go to this? I'm friends with this dude at this fraternity. It's like the jock fraternity. And he goes there. They're all douchebags. He leaves. And as he's leaving, there's this dude just standing out there chilling. He's having a cig. And he says, why don't you come back to my fraternity? Let's let's take the gulp that these guys stole. Let's go back to my fraternity and uh, and we're going to do some things. So he goes back. It's like, you know, six guys. And he says, hey, listen, one of our guys, because in the beginning of the movie, you see this guy die because he's getting doop, 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 you know, doop, the voodoo doll. And the guy's like, listen, we lost one of our members. You don't know. I've just spoiled the connection. I think you can't figure it out. And uh, he's like, listen, you can you need a place to stay. We need another guy to keep our charter. Uh, you want to be a member? And Feldman's like, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, I'll be a member. So the guy's like, cool. I'm um, going to have you go steal a body. So they steal a body. You know, you're typical. Well, I guess not typical, but it's your fraternity initiation prank. Well, that's all Feldman thinks it is. That's, that's all I would think it is. And I think that's what I liked about this film is the character that he's playing. He really thinks, yeah, ho hum, this is just a fraternity. And it's this dude, this crazy old man running around campus. And he's like, you got to get away. You're still alive. You know, he's pulling his shirt. He's like, you don't have the mark and all that. And film just thinks some loon. Well, now we go to this scene where the guy, and it's kind of weird. Like, I can't really reenact it. I can reenact it with Bruce Lee. And he's like, hey, this is... I don't know, Biff at the at the cool fraternity. And he picks up his shotgun and he goes, doo, 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 and he walks down the hall and doo, 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 he kills this guy and he goes down the hall, boop, 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 it goes well. Well, that's really happening. Now, Fellman, the old guy, is giving him this uh, powder. He says, you know, put this in the drink of one of these voodoo zombie guys and it'll it's going to fuck him up and going to kill him and everything. So now Fellman's like, okay, this guy's not insane. So... The old guy saves Fellman from being what the, what the cult is doing is they're killing these people to bring them back as zombies. I don't know what the end game is. The end game is immortality for the main guy. For what the other people, I'm not really sure. But the old guy, it turns out that his son was part of this guy's fraternity. The guy was from like different campuses to collect, you know, undead voodoo zombie slaves. And his son was one of them. He wants to stop him. He's got the juju that can stop him and he needs Feldman's help. I'm not going to go any more. Of course, Corey Feldman saves the day. You know, it's, it's a horror movie, but it's, it's a good horror movie. Now really think about what I explained to you in, in the time uh, that this came out, we had not yet been introduced. We were still slasher Haven. He said, I'll slash me. So it was a horror movie. Here's, here's what was going to happen in the night. It was a horror movie. It's a slasher. That's what it was. It was a slasher. Demon, slasher, demon, slasher, demon. Then the ring hits. So then you have ghosts, ring grudge, ring grudge two, ring grudge two. You know, you have all this. Now the paranormal garbage hits. So now you have Blair Witch. So now you have ghost, demon, ghost. All Everything follows a pattern. There's a, I mean, there's some voodoo movies out there. I mean, I can think of Blair the White Worm, but there's not a ton where this one came in and it's on Amazon Prime. You can pick it up on Amazon Prime. I highly recommend you watch it, especially now if you're looking for a spooky movie for Halloween. I would definitely say watch it. It is a very good film. It's a very well-acted film. I mean, the plot is a little more than shoestring, maybe tennis shoestring, but Feldman, once again, he does the most of what he has, and he plays his part very well because he's like, here's this guy who just thinks he's doing an initiation these guys are okay. I'm in the fraternity. I got a place to live. I'm here with my girlfriend. You know, even when they're doing the thing where he's holding the doll and they're killing people, Feldman just laughing with the rest of them, having a beer. You know, he thinks it's when he realizes that it's real and there's the change in the character, it clicks like, oh shit. And he doesn't become like that. Well, time to save the day. Cause you know, like the straight to action, he's, he's scared young man i don't call him a kid he's in college he's a scared guy and and i think that's what really sets it apart is he's not he didn't all once be like the voodoo cult all right i'm gonna get him and then he becomes a tough guy he's just still a scared guy who's doing the best he can to try to stumble and bumble out of this situation by any means necessary and save his girlfriend and in turn himself 
So I think you have a very good acting performance. I think you have a very good movie. Uh, I would recommend it. Like I said, uh, it's got a DVD release. It's got a... So you can pick it up on DVD. Amazon.com, eBay. It's got its VHS release from the 90s. Uh, it's streaming right now on Amazon Prime. But yeah, check it out. It's Corey Feldman's Voodoo. It's a movie that you really should see. I, I really do recommend it. I would advise pick it up today. And with that note, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with comic book review of Spider-Man.